All right, guys, got another EcoBoost video here for you. This is a friend of mine's truck who does a ton of driving, and it's very easy highway driving speeds of like 50, 55 miles an hour. We're out in just rural Illinois here, right along the river, so it's very humid. And one of the problems uh, that he had was um, when he, whenever he would stomp on it to get on a city interstate, the truck would stumble and misfire a bit initially, and then it would clear up after a little bit. So I went through all the Ford technical service bulletins, did all that good stuff, and, uh, you know, looked at the intercooler part numbers, played around with the shields and that. We did spark plugs and ignition coils, which need to be done anyway. But, man, nothing would fix this intermittent misfire. So I'm up late one night on the forums, and I read a forum post about drilling a hole in the intercooler, and as crazy as that sounds, it actually makes sense. What's happening is the charge air cooler is cooling the air coming from the turbochargers to the engine, and condensation builds up inside this intercooler on cool, damp mornings, like he has out here frequently being next to the river. So... I thought, well, what have I got to lose? I can always plug the hole if need be. So I went under the truck and let me get my light on here. You can see some oil residue dripping there, but I'm going to try to find the hole for you. I went under the truck and drilled a hole in the intercooler right about there. And that has officially taken care of his problem. The only side effect is a little bit of oil dripping off. That's all we got. So I thought that was a really cool fix. Never heard of that before, never even thought about doing it, but once you think about it, it does make sense. All you have is just a little oil residue that's left over. When you initially drill the hole, a lot's gonna come out, but afterwards, it's just the the air flowing around underneath the vehicle disperses it and you actually don't have any drops. It's just residue. So I also just finished his 182,000 mile oil change. Go every 5,000 miles between oil changes here. And uh, I want to start it up and get an underneath view where I've got the hole in the intercooler so you guys can see what comes out so I'm gonna get under the trunk and have them start it so there's the intercooler fins you can see them there and then here's a plastic driver side of the intercooler and then just above that is the uh, post intercooler line that goes up to the throttle body so tucked up underneath the support here and in back of the splash shield I'm gonna try to Get my camera in there so you can see the little hole and focus there it is you can see it okay there's a little hole uh all right go ahead and start it up see the oil come out every time he starts it up there get a little bit of oil and water that comes out of there what happens is over time that builds up and the truck misfires. That's only a 3 seconds inch hole. It's small enough so that there's no effect on engine performance, fuel mileage, and it doesn't set a trouble code or anything. And we don't have any problems with it other than just a little bit of oil residue around the front of the truck. But that's it. Small price to pay for fixing the misfire issue. And 182,000 miles on the 3.5 EcoBoost. All he's done to it is uh, spark plugs, ignition coils, this hole in the intercooler, and regular oil changes. If you ask me, I think these engines are holding up pretty well. They could be, uh, they could be the next thing that lasts a long time if they're taken care of. Only time will tell. There you go, guys. Thought you might find that interesting. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna reset his oil life here. Oop. Uh, there we go, settings, vehicle, and oil life reset, set to 100%.
boom, there we go. Ready for another 5,000 miles. It's pretty good fuel mileage too. Not bad. All right.